Hey good people, Batavia here. We have a new raised bed and I want to take you through how we're going to build out the soil for it. Alright, I'll see you in a few. Okie doke, quick housekeeping items. Thank you to those who like, watch, comment, share, and subscribe to Be Better Garden. We appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, consider it. There's a button below. And if you do, hit the notification bell so you're alerted each time I share more hashtag garden joy. Alrighty, so let's turn things around here. So this is uh, one of the metal garden beds. Probably the last one I'll put up in the front yard. Famous last words. Um, I ordered this specifically for this space. It's designed to be narrow. It goes one foot 10 inches then the length is three feet four inches and then it sits like all of these other beds the rectangle ones uh, one foot five inches tall um, so that's going to be important that's you know quite a bit of height and while there's some things that I can grow that may kind of really dig deep a lot of what I grow won't have that deep of roots Okie doke, so this bed, um, I've had bought this uh, kind of plastic border uh, to create a bed some years back. I've reused it a bunch of different ways, which I love. I'm actually going to move this to the backyard. Next to the cage, baby, we're going to build out a really small space there. Um, but I work this space up um, back here in the like late summer, and I just didn't get around to planting in it. Um, so, this is actually soil that hasn't been planted or grown in yet. Um, so, I'm going to dig this up, dump it into a container, because I want to layer the... Morning! How you doing? I want to layer the, um, the bed. Again, since it's 1 feet 5 inches tall, chances are much of what I grow won't ever get this far down. So I'm going to actually put some spit potting soil in the bottom layer. I'll add this back in and then I'll put some fresh soil mixed with compost in to kind of level out the bed. Um, so normally I wouldn't have to dig up kind of soil that's already there. Um, but again, since this is probably a couple of bags of soil, I want to make sure that I make the most of it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and dig this up and then we'll bring it back when we're actually adding into the bed. Okie doke. So we have prepped everything. I spent the most of my time trying to make sure that the bed was level. Um, once you, for a bed this size, even though it's small, once I get everything in, I just hate to have to kind of try to move things around. Uh, so that's important. I wanted to show you what I ended up doing, which was coming in and putting in cardboard. This was the cardboard that the um, metal bed came in. And so I put this down, not necessarily to feed the garden bed although it will do that as the cardboard breaks down inside I really did it because there's a lot of exposed soil around the bed and I want to be able to try to combat weeds in the spring and summer um, so I'll come back around and put in some wood chips um, but let's see what else I'm using for the project and we'll start in the order I'm actually going to use it uh, so this is one of my containers that I grew flowers in and while I don't typically fill flower pots and containers up all the way I did for this one um, and I'm going to dump this in the bottom of the raised bed followed by the soil that I ended up digging up that we saw at the top of the video and you can see this is a 20 gallon container so that was quite a bit of soil um, just from the look it's probably like a bag and a half um, and then this is the manure the brand and it's the compost that I use. I use this in everything I'm growing vegetables in now. Um, that includes the raised beds I mix it in as well as container gardening. And this is the soil that I use in all of my raised beds. Um, I just don't use it in my containers. Uh, so this soil has been good to me over the years so I continue to use it. I had the level for um, making sure the bed was leveled out. And then we cover it off on the con uh, cardboard. And then just really the garden tools were a shovel and then your hard rake. These are probably two of the most common things I use in my garden. This really is to break up some pieces if I need, but primarily to really level off the soil once I get the bed built up. So let's get to it.
Okie doke, so I'm back. We're finishing up here. I, again, layered in the um, very bo bottom layer of the spent potting soil, followed by the garden soil I dug up. Then this is one bag of new garden soil. I put on gloves because I added the manure here and I try to put on gloves um, when I use this because I want to try to break it up. Um, and we know what's in here, so uh, every now and again I'll catch myself not wearing gloves, but this is really probably the best practice here. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then we'll top this off with probably like one more bag of soil. Thanks so much for watching and if you enjoyed please do subscribe to my channel like this video and feel free to comment and share with others i'll see you all in the next one